Among the most intriguing stories of college football's silly season, the very serious return of Max Bullock, Michigan State senior linebacker, suspended from the Spartans' Rose Bowl win for an unspecified violation of team rules, back on the field this week at the East-West Shrine game, carrying both a heavy burden and a heavier body. Lisa Byington anchors our coverage from St. Petersburg, Florida. Petersburg, Florida, 14 Big Ten players competing this week at the 2014 East-West Shrine Game. Wet weather in St. Pete sent the East squad indoors, and later in the afternoon it cleared up so the West team could practice outside. We love being outside here in Florida. I think it should be sun, sun, sun. <laughs> Me too. Every time we come here. For, with our NFL draft analyst, Russ Landy, and our college football analyst, Derek Rackley, I'm Lisa Byington. And guys, this is the first time that we saw Max Bulla compete, put the pads on since his suspension when he missed the Rose Bowl game. And Rack, he was 245 at Michigan State, but he comes to the Shrine game and he weighs in at 265. Yeah, somewhat of a red flag to start the week for Max Bullitt, 265 pounds. I talked with a couple of the scouts, NFL scouts this morning, and that was one of the first things that they mentioned. Now, if you go on the field, it really didn't have any impact on the way that he played. In the 9-on-7, which is an inside drill running game, he excelled. It was the same Max Bullitt that we've seen at Michigan State. And then when they went 7-on-7, seven seven, where he was put in more pass situation, covered situations, they had man-on-man. -man and when he was manned up with a running back coming out of the backfield, not too bad for him. And when they went cover three, which is a zone, they dropped him back into a zone. So he really didn't get exposed. So, so far, the weight not showing up is an issue. And I think so. He did, did well physically. He also did well in terms of the leadership, the mental side. He picked up the scheme quickly. He was able to take command. He was really the leader of the defense after just getting here. So I think he did a great job in that. And that's going to alleviate concerns about maybe maturity or whatever it may be because of the suspension. Still no reason on why he was suspended. And he declined interviews on Monday and Tuesday. Russ, how does he handle that sort of suspension cloud that's going to hang over his head with NFL teams? Well, he's got to just come out and tell them what happened. If you try to evade and lie to these guys, whether it's here when you're being interviewed in the evening, or at the combine, they will find out. Scouts do their homework. They'll hire investigators. When they find out you're lying, it kills your rep. If you're honest with them, they're not going to really make a big deal. As much as we would like to hear what went down, if he wants to play at the next level, he'll have to tell the scouts and the general managers. So Max Bull is staying quiet. Ricardo Allen, the former Boilermaker cornerback, trying to make his way into the NFL. We got a chance to catch up with him and talk about his impressions here at the East-West Trying Game. Um, I just go in and my, my knowledge is, is key. I always say it's knowledge is key and one of my biggest things is I'm very smart. I understand football and I understand what offenses are trying to do to me. So when I get out there, I can translate very fast. Um, coaches love me because I'm smart and that's what Purdue taught me. They taught me I have four different defensive sets, defensive coordinators really, and it, it, got me, it gave me a lot of knowledge and it just made me better as a player. And Rack, you had a chance to talk to Ricardo Allen. What was your biggest takeaway? My biggest takeaway is that between the ears, he has everything that you need to play at the next level. You can turn on the tape and see Ricardo Allen making play after play throughout his career at Purdue. And I think his intelligence will be one of his biggest assets at the next level. And I think when you combine that with his athleticism, his ability to read the play, make plays on the ball, I think he has all the tools to be a quality corner and an elite special teams player at the next level. Quincy Anunua, the Nebraska wide receiver, just maybe the news and the notes of the day. He had to leave practice today. Russ, why? You know, I grabbed some coaches as they walked off the field. They said he, they heard, heard that he hurt his hand. They weren't sure what it was, but that they hoped he'd be back tomorrow. All he has to do is catch 99-yard touchdowns, and he <laughs> looks fine. That's right. This game will be played Saturday afternoon, but we'll have coverage for you all week long here on the Big Ten Network.